Uh, hello everyone. This is a purge command that was that someone recommended I do. So here it is. They want to do it with a of a specific. I think that's how you say it. User and this is all all this. So I'm going to explain. But first, one change I did make is setting this the type here has to be this yeah it has to be this type activity type dot then the type you want it to be that's what that has to be that's pretty much it and it will require you to have this activity type but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Now, for this, we have to make a, I made a new folder for mod commands, purge.js. Then we'll need to require a command type and a command option type from Discord.js. We do the, what we do for all these commands, module exports info, then the name, description, the type, chat input our options which has to be an array then we have the brackets and we're doing this as sub commands which are just making it into two commands at once so we have user messages as a option type of sub command and channel messages as a sub command as well in these options we will have a user which will get the user type Will require it as true so people will have to put that in and the amount will be an integer it will be required and the max value can only go up to 100 you cannot go more than this because it will error and remember if you're deleting messages it can't go past can't be any messages older than two weeks that's what Discord has it as. Alright, so once you do that, you want to do the same thing here, just put this down into here. We don't need to use for the channel since that's just doing however many messages in that channel. This will do however many messages of the user. Alright, after that, we'll do execute app. And they're actually embed. You don't really need those, I would say, but if it doesn't work, if you don't have these, put them in anyways. Then, since this is a mod command, sorry about that. Someone was moving upstairs. Anyway, if this was a mod command. Well, since it is, we're going off of a roll. However, I will make this much better to make staff specific roles. But for now, this is just with one one roll. So for now, we have interaction. So to even do this, you have to do it if the exclamation point to give it a not. So if it's so, since this will return true. This will make it false, so run this. Anyway, interaction dot member dot roles dot cache because this will just get the member of the current of that interaction of the interaction that's going on. It'll get all it'll get us and then it'll go into our roles and it'll see what roles we have in the cache. Then we want to find the role which I'm, I put as R, R, arrow function, R dot ID equals to the role ID. So to get the role ID, you just go into your server. You can either do this in the server settings or under your um, profile if you, ha if you have the role on. 
but just right click and click copy ID if you don't see that you have to turn on developer mode in the in your user settings now and we want to reply that you can't use this command and return it so it doesn't run anything else anyway we want to get the command type so the subcommand which is interaction to options that get subcommand we want to get the user that we want to get user from the user it would just if we if we don't have that when we're running this it won't really do anything but I think what we should but since they all have them out what I think I would do here is let's change this to be in here because since we have a mount for both of them I put this here but actually we don't really need that because this here would do it for us it will tell us that they can't go they can't do that I might as well we might as well put a minimum value as well so we just do this and make it one so they can't like do zero and stuff to break the bot there we go so now that we have those we can now have these so this one will stay here this one will be needed for either of them no matter what so now we want to check what command it is so if the command type is user message so if it equals to this user messages then it will it will grab our user and then it will run this function that we'll get to else we'll run this function and we're passing in our interaction the user and the number and this one we're only passing in the number function one we're making it async even though I'm not really using anything for it if you want let's well make that and wait but it doesn't want me to okay but either way I keep it there just in case so async function user messages it's probably not good but I have I, I, I thought I was going to need it so I put it in if you don't want to and it works then do it and then function user messages right up here make sure these here correspond with these and then interaction channel dot messages which will get messages from this channel to fetch the limit and we're saying equal to the number which can only be from from 1 to 100 and then now you don't need this comma here but I put it there just to know but it can only go up to 100 and we want to do a dot then and we're passing in messages for an arrow function don't forget to put these quarterly brackets in then we want to get make an array of user messages messages right here from this dot filter and we want to make sure that the the author of the message which is our use the user that we want to delete message from is equal to this the user we want the ID so any message that, ha that the author ID is equal to that that's what we want to find and for each of those messages we want to do another arrow function here just like we did here this is the variable by the way but for each of these user messages and we're pushing that message into this array I hope that makes sense now this one this is this for loop 
is a precaution because if you leave it if you don't put this for a loop in whenever you delete a message that is over 14 days it will shut down the bot and you have to re and you have to put turn it back on so yeah uh, so this is to avoid that so what we're doing is making a normal for loop just using user that messages that length so just make sure you do let i equals zero i less than the length of user messages and we're incrementing i by one every time to loop it then we want to do if we want to now do date dot now don't forget the parentheses and we want to subtract that by user messages of i dot create timestamp so this will get the time that the message was sent in milliseconds and we're subtracting it by now so that we can know how recent oh we can know if it has been two weeks because if you don't it will get the time when it was created and won't do anything else which if it's two weeks old that time that it was created will be greater than the actual amount of two weeks right here uh, yeah it, it's pretty much it's been counting up so of course once it reaches two weeks or so it will be right there as far as I can say or it will get the current time that it was created it's whichever one it's I, I had a bit of, I, I, it was, I was confused on why I was working that I figured if I had to do that to actually get the amount of time from now to then so yeah so this is pretty much getting it now to then I've already tried this by itself it doesn't work but yeah, it's so 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 it's just subtract this by this and it will get what you need and this is the number for 14 days in milliseconds and that's 1 billion 209 million 600,000 milliseconds but yeah so you want to do that and then once we find that that it is true we are going to user messages dot splice of i so what splice does is it will remove that element from the array it will move it removes elements from an array the first parameter right here is where it starts the second one if we put in a second one is how many we want to remove so if we want to start at i and then remove three and then the other two are to add stuff in its place but for this since if you use logic in your head so that once this becomes true you should know every, every anywhere after this point is going to be removed anyways so if you just do a splice of i you will start from that point and just remove the rest of it so you can break it so you can break out of this for loop quicker than it then just allow it to run through a hundred different elements when you can just remove them all anyways and just like in just that one swoop that's why it's mainly for speed but you have to really know that 
after each and every after this there will be another one that would be removed and another one and another one all right so now after that user messages that length if that equals zero then we put cannot delete messages that are more than two weeks old because that means every single one of those were two weeks old every single one of these messages would was two weeks old now you'll probably never get this response because of this unless you unless you wait exactly two weeks or more and then run the bot to do that then yes but if you do it already trying to get this you have to get this to be deleted which the way to do it you have to do dot then then like delete it but I've tried that it didn't it didn't want to work with me I was like it probably isn't important I don't think people want to see it if you do if you do just learn just I would just look up how to delete a message after it's sent from a bot and it should show you the dot then then that message deleted after so much time anyway anyway else we want to do an interaction god damn it interaction that channel bulk delete user messages that whole array and then we want to reply with clear user that username possibly yes messages all right that's the first one the second one this channel message is so literally close to the same thing the only difference I would see is it doesn't have the filter right up here so again Make sure you remember these correspond to these here. Make sure you name it right. Make sure you have that function keyword. Do you want to do interaction channel messages to get the channel messages? The limit is the number 1 to 100. Then these messages will make the array messages. For each, we'll then get message and we'll push it into that array. Then we run the for loop all over again, which then actually what I'll do is if you want, if you really want to, you can do this a much easier way. If you Let's say um, we go here. We we'll actually use this. So we we'll need to make a method. So oh, what I'm gonna do? It. Okay, we're gonna make, need to make a method, and let's call it um, something with two weeks. Check two weeks. So check two weeks. What we want to put in is an array and this is pretty much it that's all we want to put in all right all right in this we want to you know copy paste like professional programmers all right so for let i equals zero i change this to array dot length then mine is date dot now then we want to change this to array of i create a timestamp of this come on array splice break else continue and 
That should be it. Yep, so. So now, if we did that, if everything goes to plan, we should be able to do put app in here and then send the app into here. And then do app dots now it was utility if I go back to app the one way you can find that the app will be here be made from the spot so app dot utility that works about right Yeah. Alright. So app the utility. Utility dot. So now we're going into here. I want to do check two weeks. Dot check two weeks. And we want to pass in channel messages. And now that should change everything in there. Now I'm gonna hurry up and see if that even works. Alright, so channel messages amount 100. Right. I'm an idiot. Probably should turn it on. Channel messages 100. Please don't break it. Command is out there. What the fuck you mean? The fuck you means out there? Okay, so you're gonna do this to me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this then. Want to return right afterwards. So if we go here, uh, channel messages equals that. All right, let's try it again. What the fuck? So when you work, so you work when you want to work, huh? Track in a few minutes, my ass. Alright. Let's see. This is why I hate thinking of ideas and then doing them. Because. I fixed it. Don't worry, I fixed it. Um, so I have to redeploy and everything. So when you redo change any of these, it will require you to, you know, fix it. Like wait for it, I guess. So I guess now I can't do that. Yep. Okay. Anyway, now make sure you change these arrays to from a const to a let and now let's see if it even works that I, if I use this I hope it does I really do okay it works okay so what we're gonna do is now that I've shown you how you do this whenever you go in utility and you put in your method Always return a value, I would say. And then now we can remove this here and just do user messages equals app dot 
utility dot check two weeks and send in user messages and there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't forget. You gotta make sure it actually passes in the app. Or I won't do it. But yeah, there you go. So now that I removed the code, put code here, and now you can use it anywhere. If you ever needed to check if it was 12 weeks and remove stuff. But that's how you use that. That's just an example. You don't have to do it. But I did because I can. As for this, the only difference between these two, and I'm going to keep it like this, is that this requires a username, this requires a length. And I can't like just try and pull them together. Because most of it is the same, except for the message. So, what I could do is, if I wanted to, and this is how you guys can think outside the box, is just, if you want, put it into here, yeah. Because after this point, you won't really need it. You only need it for this. Except for this. Because then, because we want to try and send this through here. These two messages. So I would just say, probably do just this part. So yeah, so like if array dot length is equal to zero, because we had as two, three, five. It's really the only difference with this is that two of them I think doesn't check the type. This one does. That's it. And then we want to do. Uh, we need interaction, of course. Do we pass through, don't we? Yeah. Alright. That's fun. Always expanding the code to be better. So we go here, pass in direction. And then do interaction uh, reply. And then we want to say cannot delete messages that are more than two weeks old. Okay. There. Of course, you want to do that. Why can't it ever be easy? What? Damn fire. Expect it, okay. Oh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. What else? Oh. Yeah. Well, I just return it here. There we go. Okay, so here's the logic. If it is zero, we just want to send it this, and that's it. We don't even want to return the array. However, if this if that doesn't go through, then we then we will return the array, which will come out through here right here and now come on take that out take that out 
this out. We can just do this. And just finish it off like that. Alright. So same thing with this. We can delete and copy this. Copy just this. Remove up here. Paste. And now if I just do this. Can you not do that? Anyway. You guys can't see me testing it, but I can, so I don't care. So I delete one message. Get the fucking thing. Two minutes. We uh, okay, okay. I see. Uh, let's see what you're gonna do. What if I just delete and then do it? What are you gonna do about that? Cannot delete mess that are more than two weeks old. There you go. However, error has been acknowledged, so this is trying to run again. That's a problem. So we'll do is yeah, and then it's trying to do it. Again. Okay. Yeah, it's trying to send this here. Alright. Uh, bulk delete and then send this. Bulk delete. Send user. Yeah, after we do that, we want to return. Everything that's new. You know what? Should we even try that? Yeah, I'm still trying to do that. Okay. Okay, fine. That's fine. Sometimes whenever you go to try to make it simpler, it doesn't want to work with you. So, well, you know what you do? You fucking forget about it. And just deal with it. That's all. That's all you can really do. Because doing that, you have to probably mess with the writing here. And, I'll, and you'll probably... You probably just do what I did up here. You don't have to put the user. You can just put that and then put the whole thing in there. If you want to. Which would be pretty much copy and paste. Copy this. Paste it. Here. Change that to array. Array, not this, but array dot length. Remove this. Clear that main messages. We won't be returning this array because it won't matter. So we'll just return it anyways. Return that. Now we don't need this. Or this. And I don't even believe we need to set equal to something. In there. So if I just make it work. So user. The bot. By one. Works. User. Bots. A hundred works and then one last check well we have to check the channel 100 works 
Complete the bots reply. Uh, channel 100. Can I delete messages? Cool. Channel user. Um, uh, 100. Cannot delete. Okay, there. That works. That works. Now it works. So now that we we changed a function that was these in size are pretty much the same to now someone to the here just by running these and going in here doing the whole array and then sending how much that array has and then just returning it back I don't even know if you need that returned anyways but it doesn't matter it doesn't hurt but that is the purge command. That is, that's the complete purge command. So there you go. That's how you do it. Well, that's how you do it with my code anyways, but that's pretty much the concept. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll be doing more of these later, another time. See ya.